It wouldn't be Just Cause without animals. And in Just Cause 4, you'll see the biggest variation of wildlife so far. From the tiny critters such as butterflies that flutter among the clifftops to lumbering llamas that ramble through the atmosphere, creatures inhabit every corner of the world. The rainforest will hold animals such as the capybara, wild boar, and the cute little tapir, whilst the grasslands, being a farming area, will be slightly different, with more cows and cattle knocking around. The alpine is quite a barren and hostile environment, so there will be fewer living creatures gracing the snowy slopes. Deer, goats, and llamas favour this region. Finally, you'll find various goats frolicking through the dry and dusty setting of the desert, lapping up the sunshine and loving life. Whilst animals aren't fundamental to gameplay in Just Cause 4, each type living in their own distinct habitats contained within the biomes adds to the sense of realism. Not to mention, they're just extremely cute. Let's take a look at all the different types of animals living in their environments. Some animals branch across multiple biomes, such as the capybara, a mammal that looks like a big guinea pig. These favour grasslands and rainforest for its palatable climes and plentiful plants. The Indo Brazilian cattle thrives in the tropics, with a greyish coat, short horns, and a distinguishable hump on its shoulders, not unlike that of a camel. They just look so funny. The tapir, my personal favourite new addition to the world of Just Cause, looks like a combination of a mini elephant mixed with a pig. You'll find these cute little mammals living in the rainforest. The humble cow makes its home in the stretches of farmland within the grasslands biome. You won't find these cows in the wild. Pucker up, Rico. Just kidding, just kidding. He had more than enough cow kissing in Just Cause 3. Karaku cattle are a dual purpose breed which are raised for both milk and meat production, found only in the grasslands. They're very hardy animals, well known for their high adaptability and excellent maternal ability. The feral hog is a descendant of the domestic pig and has broken out of confinement to live in the wild. The wild boar is very similar to the feral hog, but they just look a little bit different. Deer and doe love hanging out in the alpine and the grasslands and always look extremely graceful when striding across the landscape. Goats are plentiful in Solis, living in grasslands, alpine, and desert. The standard goat loves clip-clopping across the mountain tops, whilst the bouge goat, distinguishable by its dark coat and pale floppy ears, are happy on sandy stretches of desert. The Repartida goat has a tan brown back half with a darker front and pointed back horns. So adorable! And finally, perhaps the ultimate animal of them all. The one, the only, llama. These lovable long-necked llamas can be found trotting along in the alpine and the grasslands. You might want to get out of the way, llama. There's a tornado heading directly for you. 